Hi, this is Michael Grant from Applied CAX and Sherpa Design. This is a support video I created for a specific NX Cam solution, and we're sharing it now so other people can hopefully make use of our resources. We hope you find it useful too. So we're going to go to Insert Operation, and we'll do the I think it's the okay the contour area the second one I'll set it to area milling and then you want program uh, my tool says UGT um, and it ends with 203 it's the quarter inch ball work piece is our geometry and we're finishing so if we hit OK we're going to want to set our cut area first so we're going to specify cut area and then I changed my uh, selection or my face rule up on the selection intent bar to tangent and then just pick one of the chamfered faces now if you say OK um, it has a large step down so on the surfacing tool paths the uh, step down and, and pattern is under your drive method so you're going to hit edit on that wrench next to area milling and then you have your settings here so we're on zigzag um, so we could we could start with that one uh, set it to climb not that it matters because it's zigzagging step over you can go to constant and just set it to you know a value usually between five and seven and a half thousandths it's going to give you a nice finish on part step over applied and the cut angle right now is set to auto so if you want to see what that comes up with you just hit OK and generate it's probably going the length of it That is much different than what we just had. Did you pick a cut area? Yeah. Ah, I found it. Okay, I'll show you where that's at. Okay. Okay. This uh, operation came in with, with an option turned on, so I'll show you where that's at. So right now it's rolling over the edges. And so it, it's pretty crazy looking. So sometimes you want to roll over the edges, and you'll turn that on, but on this in this case we do not want that on. So does yours look like this? Okay. So that's under uh, cutting parameters. And the first tab that comes up, the uh, strategy, it's got roll tool over edges. So you can turn that off. Um, so cutting parameters under, yeah. yep. And that was the only thing I'm going to set. So now if I regenerate it. And I believe it is going like you were talking about up and down. So yeah, so in this case it's going up and down. Uh, I don't know, I don't like the automatic it changed direction. <laughs> so I would uh, probably set it to like longest edge or you could specify. And if you... Um, I see this one's looking at it in that vector. So this this one's probably going to do the longest edge. Um, it should go down. So you hit the setting and then change it. Yeah, here. Let me look at what this one does. Yeah, I I would if you want to do um, this one does follow periphery well, which is what I normally use. But for zigzag, I don't think I would use this one because it it's looking at a vector normal to the part instead of to the faces but where you change that is under cut angle so you see here where it says cut angle yeah. but um, if you change it to the follow periphery 
and then regenerate. It's going to go the length of it. And then it just resets the... Uh yeah, so cut pattern, I changed to follow periphery. And then it just oh, okay. go ahead and hit OK. Yeah. And so that's starting um, in inward and going outward, but you can change that under direct uh, pattern direction. So if I use this one, that's that's the setting I usually use is follow periphery. If you want to have a controlled zigzag normal to that surface, um, if you go back to your main dialog where you have the drive method setting, so back to this page, mm -hmm. and you could switch to uh, streamline. And I'll show you what this one's doing. So you see how it's giving you that preview. Yes. Um, you can pick uh, under this one. It's a little bit different. You can pick cut direction, and then it'll, it'll give you. See how those are normal to the faces yes. um, because it's doing a boundary. I could pick you know one of these arrows, go up and down. And so now if I say regenerate, we should be saving our part. What are you guys doing for lunch today? What are you thinking? Wait, when it happens, we, we make it happen, right? Yeah, there's a pizza. Yeah, there it goes. So it's going up and down that face. And it stays normal to that as it goes around that corner.